Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are testing out a low rated foundation that I am actually kind of surprised is so low rated because normally IT Cosmetics makes foundation that makes people go and lose their mind. And it like has such a cult following and people love IT Cosmetics and I could dial up my mom right now and she's like, oh, do you have any more of that IT Cosmetics? Like that's her favorite. Not that it's a brand that is exclusively for an older generation, I'm not saying that, but it does reach that demo pretty hardcore with some of the advertising that they do is showing a lot of rosacea, skin issues, before and afters and it just speaks to immediate change. That's what I get from a lot of their advertising. And they use a lot of real people and it's not your typical models and they do a lot of cool things with how they approach getting their messaging out there. So I do really love the brand. I love a lot of their products. Their brushes are incredible. I have shared with you guys in the past that a lot of their foundations make me break out. Yikes, I know but they look beautiful on the skin. So I really, really want to love this and I hope that it looks as good as it sounds. I'm a little scared because I'm not gonna lie, I have seen a few reviews where people are like, this sucks, it's not long wearing at all. But again, I like to be the judge of foundation specifically and I have been sharing with you guys very openly that I think you need to go and get samples of things like skincare and foundation, kind of understand what you're looking for and what you want, like basic 101. If you want a tinted moisturizer with no coverage, why would you even think to try out a full, full coverage, you know, full glam type of a product? So like really think about what you want in your routine and then kind of, you know, watch a few reviews and go from there. But this one is like, it, it says that it's gonna do it all. It's gonna give us confidence. It's gonna make us feel more amazing. And I like the idea of that. This says that it is oil-free, it's for all skin types, it's long wearing. That's the claim that we're gonna put to the test because I am gonna do check-ins for you guys and we're gonna see if this is in fact long wearing or if it falls apart really quickly. I love a good long wear product. So whenever I see long wear like front and center on the bottle, I'm like, yes, thank you, give it to me now. I wanna look really, really good all day long. I wanna do my makeup once and that's it. So this says to be long wearing, weightless, and full coverage. Those three things combined are not normal. Like normally a full coverage is not gonna be weightless. And to throw in the mix, weightless and long wear, and oil free, but hydrating and for all skin types. This includes ingredients like hyaluronic acid that is gonna attract moisture to the skin. It's one of my favorite skincare ingredients. This has squalene in here. This has peptide ceramides. You guys know I love ceramides. Hello, halo. You know, ceramides are a magic bullet in the formula of hair, skin, nails, and kiwi, which is my brand that I sell, link below. Um, you know, a lot of really good for your skin ingredients are in this product. So fingers crossed, we're gonna like it. It says that it has a velvet matte finish. I'm not normally one for a matte finish, but the velvet speaks to it being more natural, which I can get on board with. So let's just figure out what shade we're gonna go in with. Oh, she's thick. Do you see that? I'll compare for you guys. So that was the shade medium beige, number 230. This is my beloved L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear, which this one does last a long time. Drugstore, comes in a pump, beautiful formula. I love this one. Really affordable too, compared to your higher end and it performs like a high end. And you can see, look how much like, more liquidy this one is. It's interesting to me that this is so thick straight out the gate. Because of the texture of the product, I am gonna use a brush today to apply the foundation and I'm gonna use the brush that they sent with the product. This is the Skin Hugging Foundation Brush. I really like IT Cosmetics brushes. This one looks a little bit frayed, but sometimes after you wash it a few times, that will fix the issue. Uh, their brushes in the past, I've really, really loved so, so much. So we're gonna use that and let's get to application. I'm gonna go in with the shade Medium Nude and we're just gonna see how this goes. All right, so I am following directions, you guys, so I don't even wanna hear it. 
Well, I still actually want to hear it, so leave me your comments. Um, it does say to take one full pump, so you guys are seeing it right here. That is one pump. Take the brush, dip it into the foundation, and this is directly off of their website, and apply. I am already primed. I used my Sicily Double Tensor and a little bit of Tarte, so we are ready, set, go. Also, I will let you guys know this comes in 48 shades. I think that's pretty great. I know IT Cosmetics has not always been the best with shade range. So they did come out with a lot of shades. They look really nice. This is applying actually more liquidy than I thought. Sometimes the thicker formulas are really tough to blend out, but this looks like it's blending quite nicely. Huh. The finish is not terribly matte. Like I actually really like that, okay. It says to make sure that the formula is completely dry to reveal its truest tone before making your decision. If you're between shades, try the lighter shade. So that means to me that this is a formula that's going to oxidize. I mean, right now, I really think it looks great. I don't have a complaint in the world, to be honest. It feels a little bit like the same vibe as far as thickness and how it spreads out as the Vanish from Hourglass and the Morphe Matte. It kind of has that same thing uh, compared to something like the L'Oreal that is much thinner in texture. This spreads out a lot better than the other two I just mentioned. It's not as thick and full coverage as those, but it just feels better on the skin. It's not emphasizing lines, pores. I feel like it looks nice and even and I'm hopeful. The one thing that I have read is that this does not last a long time on the skin, so I'm gonna do what I can to set everything and really work with, you know, powder that I know I love, that I use a lot, and just really give it our best effort to make this work because I like a lot of the ingredients. This one does not have an SPF in it, which I also really, really love. And that's been my issue with a lot of IT Cosmetics products is the SPF actually really triggers my skin into breakouts. So I want this to work. I feel like my skin looks really good. I feel like it looks fresh, but not oily or luminous. It's just that like nice balance. So this is $32 for one ounce. Let's just say a prayer together that it doesn't break apart. I have a feeling it freaking might but time will tell. So I'm gonna finish up my makeup and we will regroup. All right. I am pleasantly surprised at how much I really, really like the way this foundation feels. I was super nervous that I would hate it and I'm guilty sometimes of looking into reviews and feeling 
that I am absolutely gonna feel a certain way about a product, and that's where I'm at right now. Now here's the thing. The one thing that I'm worried about is that it won't be long wearing, so we are gonna do a wear test. I'm gonna show you right now up close how we look right now, and then hours from now, we're gonna see if it's fallen apart. But the good news is that with setting the face with powder, it hasn't settled in any lines. Everything looks really, really smooth. It didn't grip onto any dry patches. I feel like this went on so nicely that I'm a little bit confused, but maybe, I don't know, maybe in a few hours I'll feel different and that's what these wear tests are all about. So let's take a closer look and then wear the foundation all day long. What does James think? We haven't had a James dissect my makeup in a while. What do you think, James? I think you look beautiful. I like it. Does it look heavy foundation? No. It's so fresh. No, it, it looks nice. And youthful. Yeah. Glowing, but not too much. You look beautiful. Thank you. It's not like crackling in any of the normal places it would collect. It's not collecting around the nose. It's pretty gosh darn full coverage without looking cakey. My pores don't look big. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of really big benefits right now. Please, dear God, angels of foundation, just let this wear like a really long time and then it'll be my new favorite. But right now, doesn't, doesn't I'm having like a good skin day, right? What? And I don't feel like I should be because I'm kind of still a little bit under the weather. Also, that Gucci highlight. Can we just talk about that for a moment? Go watch that video if you wanna see the best highlight ever. All right, I'll see you guys in many, many hours from now. This is the final check-in because I can't talk right now. <laughs> Did you say it's the final chicken? It's the final chicken. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I look like a chicken. What is happening? Help me, Lord. Oh my God. My husband still thinks I'm beautiful. And here is your seven hour time travel update. Not a lot has changed. I'm actually super, super impressed. And I really thought this would get a lot oilier quicker because it has so many hydrating ingredients in the product. And because that was the biggest complaint that I would see in reviews written online and in a couple of videos that I watched was that it did not last a long time and that it got very oily quick. And that happens to me with so many products. So I'm kind of like, what did I do to make it work? Because this is really strange. It has not moved broken apart. I mean, there is some wear down like right here, but to be honest, I've been blowing my nose. <laughs> so I would expect any foundation to kind of like rub off in that region. Um, but you can see my pores are not looking terrible. I mean, you can see texture for sure. Um, oil has come through, but it's not bad. Let's just wrap this up, okay? I'm going to bed. I'm not pushing it till way late. You guys usually see me do final check-ins at like midnight, 1 a.m., but you know what? I'm expiring early tonight. It is 10 o'clock. Well, 9.54. Had this on for seven-ish hours, and I feel like that's enough to make a first impression judgment. I do really like this. You guys will see more of it. And with anything that I like immediately, you guys can know pretty quickly if I like something, don't like something by looking in the description box. I always list everything that I'm wearing that day when I'm filming, whatever I'm filming. So like with the L'Oreal 24 hour, you guys saw me try it once and I'm like, wow, this is incredible. And then you continue to see me love it, wear it, wear it more, continue to love it. And that's typically the thing that will happen, especially with skincare and foundation and concealer and powder and like all the face makeup, you know? So right now I'm excited about this one because for me, I don't feel the most beautiful today and it made me feel more beautiful. So it did give me confidence in my foundation. Okay, I'm gonna go, but let me know in the comments below. Did you think this was like pretty awesome or what? Like, I don't know what other people are experiencing or why they don't like it so much. I mean, or why it's not working the same way, but I guess that's just foundation. So, hey, it is what it is, but I like the shade range, the price, the ingredients, the weight applied, the wear time on me was fine. 
didn't get too greasy or crazy. I actually really like this brush too and how it kind of like hugged onto the skin. So I'm going to explore more of this. The foundation did oxidize quite a bit. So that warning on their site is correct to sway a little bit lighter. If you are ordering and unsure about your shade and you're in between two, go with the lighter one because it will oxidize just a teeny tiny bit. All right, ring the bell, subscribe and go have a good one. I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah. I did not fart. That's the chair, James. Are you sure? I'm done. I'm going on vacation. <laughs>